question came up online regarding the time ruler in DP. Someone had clicked somewhere and his time ruler has changed and he had no idea what happened and how to get it back. So I thought I'd make this little video getting a little bit more into the time ruler. So first of all, when we look up here in the transport window, you see with that little arrow to the right of our measures, I can click on that and change the readout. So we can change it from measures to real time, frames, samples. I can even go markers. So markers we have set up in the project will show up right here and I can actually click on it and go straight to that marker. I like personally to have my, when I'm doing tracking, just sit it here to, to measures. Then I have the secondary readout, which we can set to something different. Right now it's set to real time, could be set to frames if we're doing video. This one could also go to markers. And again, if I click on it, we'll simply go directly to that part that we're selecting and that comes from this markers we've set up in the project. If we change this to frames, you see I have two errors. The lower arrow here is actually the marker showing up, so we can actually go to the markers through that. Now, what we really was going to talk about is the time ruler here. So you see we have the time ruler here right now, it's reading out in, in measures. If we're going to change it, I can simply place my cursor in the time ruler and right click. And now I change it to real time. Right click to frames. And not only this is my time ruler, this is also my selection grid that I'm changing here. Now, if I go down here and choose open time formats, the time formats window shows up and we'll see here you have controls for the rulers and the edit grid. Right now it says frames, which is correct, that's what I'm seeing. So I can click up here and now I'll go back to measures. Here in the time formats window I also have a column for what's called aux rulers and nothing is selected here. So what this is is simply I can select a secondary ruler. So now you see I have my main ruler and my edit grid, which is measures, showing at the top. And right beneath it, now I have a ruler showing real time. And I can turn off all of these. So now I have four rulers stacked on top of each other here. So I have measures, real time, frames, and samples. I can also click on all four of them, which means no matter which one I select as my main ruler, all four will always be in the window. There's another little way I can change the ruler. It's simply by holding down shift and typing period. Now you'll see I will cycle through even up here, I will cycle through the different time formats. So go back here, right click, open time formats, and we're at measures, and then I can add another ruler if I need it, or I can turn it off. 